Yeah, I'm not I'm not changing the fucking flag. I don't care. It's it's I'm still an American, goddammit. it. It's just not my president. Um <laughs> Hashtag illegitimate. I, I just kinda wanna do a potpourri today. I still got scanning to do. I scanned all the maps. And I'm gonna scan the, the core book. And then whew, the drum roll begins. I'm gonna have to upload the shit and then see how it comes out. So I'm excited for that. <clears throat> but so I gotta just kinda do something quick. I'm gonna do a potpourri of stuff. Some of it will touch political, some of it will not, because I gotta tell you, it's Tuesday, right? And I, w I didn't go to work Monday. Yesterday, I didn't go to work. I took a vacation day. I have a funny story. Um, I took a vacation day. So I've only had one day to listen to the news and catch up. And I got to tell you, I'm already excited for Friday. <laughs> like, Friday is going to be great. So, you know, whatever. Finally get my release of all that. Um, <laughs> I, I'm not entirely sure. I, I don't know because I don't answer the comment. You know, I read the motherfuckers. I don't answer the comments in, in those kinds of videos, <laughs> but I think somebody actually like quoted from the New York times article, the whole, a cabal of people colluded together to make sure they got the outcome they wanted they fortified the election against whatever the fuck um like this person just quoted that as their comment and it was you know, time article whatever and i'm i'm looking at it and i'm just thinking to myself what the fuck like what in the fuck what was your point with that <laughs> like are you quoting that as if go because I know the person who it is and the person who it is doesn't live in the same reality I do so I'm just wondering if like is that your argument I'm supposed to read that and and go oh they were fortifying the election the cabal of people who got together and colluded to make sure the election came out the way they wanted they were fortifying the ele Oh shit! Like, am I, is that what I'm supposed to do? And then, I'm like, like, I'm supposed to be as stupid as you all of a sudden and go, well, that makes sense. I guess that's fine then. Because <laughs> the thing that I have literally been talking about for goddamn months is that a small cabal of people might collude to fucking overthrow the president and install who they want. And that would be a bad thing. And they did it. And then they bragged about it. In Time Magazine. And nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. Like, what? I mean, yeah, there's riots going on in the street, but that's Antifa. That's what they do. Nothing else is happening. What else is, like, they wrote a fucking Time article bragging about this shit. Nothing's happening. What, 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 what the fuck? I, I, uh, so, I, <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's like, and then I get that. And I'm like, no matter how you paint it, <laughs> whether you want to say that happened, sure, but that's good, or you want to say that happened, yeah, and that's fucking what the fuck. Like, no matter what, it li you literally quoted where it said, a cabal of people colluded together to make sure they got the presidential outcome they wanted. It, it's in fucking black and white. You quoted... Did you read the quote you quoted to me? Because it's in the fucking quote. So what am I supposed to get to that? Or is that you going, Psh, I'm totally on your side now. Fucking... What the fuck? Because 
you were a little bit vague. It would have been nice to get the, I can't believe this shit, tacked onto that. Like, what, what, you're, you're quoting it to me. Did you, do you think I didn't read it? Do, do you think I didn't read it? God. If there's anything you should have learned about me by now, is that if I ever link something to you, I'll, I'll have fucking read it. So what, why are you quoting to me the article I read? I get what it says, do you? Like I, anyways, <laughs> so there was, there's that. I just had to get out of my fucking system. I'm sorry about that. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I took off yesterday, right? And Sunday, usually, go to my parents' house, visit them for a couple of hours, do my laundry, you know, and then come home, do what I do the rest of the day. And Sunday, I was like, well, I'm not going to do that today because no books are going to get delivered today, but books will be delivered on Monday. So if I go over and do my laundry on Monday then I'll be able to get whatever books come Monday. Right? Then I can make the video that I made for you guys yesterday. <laughs> so, and I have the fucking core book now, so I mean, that was a smart play on my, my end, I think. Um, so I'm driving there, my parents' house, and Monday, and I'm off, I'm driving, and they're talking about all the people that called off today. <laughs> and I'm like, well, I took a vacation today. What happened with all the people called off? And they're talking about the day after the Super Bowl should be a national holiday and $40 billion of the economy is lost on that day. So, like, it's... And I'm sitting there going, <laughs> I wonder if anybody at work is like, fucking Andy took off after the Super Bowl. Because <laughs> I had no fucking clue that the Super Bowl was going on. I went through the, dude, I went through the entirety of the Super Bowl, had no clue what was going on, and then that night, before I went to bed, I, like, looked at my Discord stuff, and somebody got a Discord and said, Happy Super Bowl. And I was like, oh, the Super Bowl is today. I want to go on. And then I went to bed. Which should tell you, for an insomniac, that should tell you how much it concerned me who won the Super Bowl. I thought to myself, oh, the Super Bowl is today. I wonder who won. And then I immediately went to bed. <laughs> Instead of checking to see who won. I don't fucking care. I, I'm happy for Tom Brady. I, I think it's sad <laughs> that Tom Brady has to be a white man. I just think it's sad that Tom Brady has to be such a talented white man. That he can literally go to fucking any team and... Do Super Bowl champs. Like, dude, fucking... He's an amazing leader. He's an amazing pass. He's just an amazing fucking quarterback. He's the he is hands down. You can argue all you fucking want, but read him and weep, motherfucker. He can, he's the best quarterback to play the fucking game. Just take everybody else and shove them up your ass. Doesn't matter. <laughs> the man is just fucking. He is the goat. What are you gonna do? But it's just it's so sad that he he's got to be white. <laughs> God damn it! Why couldn't he be black? Because then. I wouldn't have to hear how dare Tom Brady win the Super Bowl in Black History Month. And I'm like, but every Super Bowl is played Black History Month. Like, what? So should we move the Super Bowl or should we move Black History Month or should we just not fucking care if a white quarterback wins because, what, like, still, like, what, 80% of them are white? So. <laughs> and Tom Brady's always going to win as long as he's playing. And apparently it doesn't fucking matter what team he's on either. So, <laughs> he's just going to win every fucking year. It doesn't matter. So, quit bitching. He's, he's been disgracing fucking Black History Month by winning the Super Bowl for like, what, 10, 10 years? A, a decade. A solid decade interspersed in the past however fucking long. 20 years of his career or whatever. He is just pissed all over Black History Month by winning the Super Bowl. And you guys all of a sudden give a shit. Because you were cheering the motherfucker on two years ago when he won or whatever the fuck. Last year when he won. Year before that when he won. Fucking whatever. There was a point where you were cheering the motherfucker on. Five years ago when everybody was saying. Six, year, well, six or seven years ago when everybody was saying. 
And everybody was like, ah, Tom Brady. But now it's how the fuck dare that white man <laughs> be so racist. And it's like, I don't get it, whatever. So, yay Tom Brady, good for him, you know, go, what are you going to do? But, <laughs> you can be as jealous as you want, bitches. As long as he's playing the game, you're going to lose. So, I don't know what to tell you. Um, <laughs> he doesn't even need actual clay, all he needs is water and mud. He, he can fucking work with it. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, man, it's just the shit. Piss around all you want, fuck it. Dang it, just do shit. Anyways, um, <laughs> so here's another funny thing. <laughs> um, I, I work in a warehouse, right? I work in a warehouse, uh, loading and unloading trucks, and, you know, stacking and unstacking shit, you know, and pallets and stuff like that. And, and that's what I do for a living. I do it for <laughs> nine, ten, however many fucking hours a day I wind up doing it a day. Um, you know, so that, that's that's what I fucking do, and uh, I decided to take a vacation day. I, I didn't want to be in the warehouse. I wanted to fucking not have to deal with doing warehousing. I just wanted to sit at home and fucking play video games and work on my fucking game and all that shit. And I got all the work I wanted to get done at the time I got it done. And, and, you know, now I have to do the core book. That's the last thing. And I still have to read it, too. Um, shit, I fucking know. Anyways, so, yeah. I, I decided uh, Saturday. Ah, Saturday afternoon, maybe. I was like, you know what? I haven't played it because I just... I, I'm cyberpunk out. Like, I'm still way in... For this, it's a, I, I can compartmentalize like you wouldn't fucking believe. Even though this is still cyberpunk, this is my fucking cyberpunk world. This isn't that one. It's not the video game that I've done over and over and over and over and over again. And I was like, I, I don't want to play it anymore. Because I, I, finally, I, I finally reached the mountaintop, you know what I mean? I, I, me and Johnny, all alone. Just the two of us. Nobody else died. Just me. Just went in there and fucking tore those motherfuckers apart. I was, uh, like, I was playing it on very hard to level up because you get experience faster playing it on very hard. And so I was doing that. And then I just kind of left it on very hard to play the rest of the game because very hard isn't really all that hard when you have essentially wall hacks and one-shot kill hacks with a gun that's just in the game because fucking it's ridiculous. Whatever. Comrades hammer. <laughs> fucking just sick so and when you dump like a fuck ton of perks into pistols <laughs> it's just stupid to have like <laughs> you know what I mean I, I use other guns because it gets boring just shooting through walls at motherfuckers like that's very fun but it gets boring so <laughs> then I just run around with other guns um but yeah I, I, I was I, me and Johnny sat there the five minutes did all the, did all the talking right this <laughs> is and, uh, yeah, I was like, fucking, I don't, I don't know what to do, man. And he's like, well, you know, could just fucking go in there. It's just me and you. And I'm like, you're not, you're not real. Like, you're not really real. And he goes, eh, well, that's why they call it suicide person. And I'm like, might as well. It's a hell of a lot more fun than just shooting myself up here. So, we went in, and it's actually hysterical. Fucking as soon as you walk in the, like you walk in through the metal detector, and the metal detector goes off, and Johnny's like, <laughs> just roll in, bitches, dude. It's fucking hysterical. But like, yeah, it was a lot of fun. So now I'm kind of like, I won't play it anymore. So I decided I wanted to play uh, Satisfactory, and I was like, dude, Satisfactory. What a fun fucking game. I haven't played that in forever. I don't know what it was that made me want to play it. And I'm like, and I haven't played it in fucking months. God knows what they've got in the game now. You know, I'm sure they've done all sorts of updates. It's still early access. Like, they're still fucking working on the thing. Um, it, it, it's like, it's again, it's very like Cyberpunk. Except it's more like Grounded 
they're adding shit tons of stuff to it as they fucking add updates. They're not really fixing things. The game works. It's stable and it's good and it's functional. But, <laughs> I mean, they, there are problems. But nevertheless, it's still good enough. And, <laughs> so I'm like, I haven't played it in fucking forever. I'll play a goddamn game. So, what what is satisfactory, you might ask? Well, you you land on a on an alien world, right? And then the first thing you have to do is break down your pod with your deconstructor constructor gun, right? Sounds fucking this is badass already, right? We got a deconstructor constructor gun. Break down your pod, yeah. And then you got to make your habitat, right? So you put the hab somewhere. That's what I call it, the hab. Put the hab up somewhere, right? And then you you know. You look at the HAB computer, and the HAB computer goes, I need you to find me 100 sheets of metal. And it's like, well, how the fuck do I find that? And then you got to go walk around looking for iron ore. And then you got to put a driller on that iron ore, right? And then you got to run conveyor belts from the driller to a refiner that smelts the shit into fucking ingots. <laughs> then you turn the ingots into iron plates, right? And then you get 50. Or 100, whatever the fuck it was I said. I was just picking random shit. Anyway, it doesn't matter. And then uh, you go to the hab, and you just stick that shit in the hab, and it goes, awesome. You can now do more stuff. And you go, <laughs> like, that's all it is. You just, you, it, it wants you to make stuff for it, and it wants a lot of stuff made, and whenever you make a lot of stuff, you give it to it, and it says, you can make more stuff now. And you go, holy shit. I need to make all new chains of factory equipment to make this shit now. And then you do that, and then you give it stuff, and it says you can make more shit now, right? <coughs> so, about midday Saturday, I start playing Satisfactory. And I'm getting started, you know, I'm going through the routine shit. It takes a long time to get to that point, let's just say that. You wind up making the first couple of things by hand. The by hand part of that game is just awful. It's so long, but you get through it, right? And then you get into the fun stuff. And I, I'm, I said, fuck it. I've never done it before. Usually, when I play Satisfactory, because I'm just fucking with stuff, I don't really care. It winds up being a nightmare. It winds up being a spaghetti horror of nightmare. And it's, it's truly awful to behold because it's just, I just, it's. Okay, I need to make this now. Well, this machine, I can fucking loop this off over here and connect this to it, and then I uh, fucking run it that way. That's out of the way. And then it winds up, you get to a point where you're like, okay, now I have to connect this machine here to this machine here. I'm going to have to run a conveyor belt. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, ah, uh, it gets awful. And it just winds up being a spaghetti nightmare, and I hate it. So I decided this playthrough, I'm going to play it clean. I'm going to make an actual fucking factory. Right? With walls and shit. Like, and they're going to be on platforms, and it's not just going to be placed haphazardly wherever the fuck, like some kid just threw all his fucking toys on the ground. No. It's going to be, like, for real shit. And I'm putting effort into this. I'm putting effort into this because I'm thinking about reconnecting my capture box. I'm getting people requesting me playing video games and I'm not probably going to play video games but I will do shit like that. Like I'll build some fucking amazingly cool fucking thing in a game and then I'll show it to you guys. Like I got the forest. I have, I have the coolest uh, little um, it's like a seaside, cliffside, uh, you know, cliff, seaside shack in the forest. Or it's, it's, what did I call it? Oh, it's the hunting lodge. Yeah, I have the hunting lodge. I built a hunting lodge in uh, the forest. And it's very cool. I, I show you that kind of stuff. I can show you some of my terraria builds and shit like that. Like, that would be fun. If people want to see video game content of me, who am I to say no? But... I ain't fucking, I'm not going to sit on stream and have you guys jawing in my fucking ear while I'm trying to play a game. 
Like, doing that kind of shit takes concentration, and I don't need your fucking input. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm very particular about my builds. And so I can't, I just, I, I can't do it. Every time I try and do it, I fucking hate it, and I quit. And it takes, it's getting less and less time. Uh, the last time I tried it, when I tried to be a Twitch streamer, I think uh, I did it <laughs> four times, maybe? And I was just like, I can't, I can't fucking do this shit anymore because I just, I hate doing it. So the next time I try and do it, I think it'll be once, and then you know. But this kind of shit I can do. I can just walk around and be like, and this is what I did here, and this is inside here, and this is blah blah blah. You know, I can show you the outer case of it, and then it'll be something that'll be neat that I can like break pieces down and be like, this is what a fucking the nightmare it looks like. You know, that I've hidden with this section. You know what I mean? Like I can do that kind of stuff, and that that'll be fun. Um. So, Monday, <laughs> I take a vacation day from work. And Monday, it just so happened that I unlocked the big storage container. And I was like, got the big storage container? Finally, I can build my warehouse. And all I did Monday was work in a warehouse. <laughs> I took a vacation from the warehouse I work in all the time so that I could build my own warehouse and work in it. <laughs> this, is, this is my life. This is what I fucking do with myself. So, yeah. You know. Fucking weird. So, I think we're at the point now. Yeah, we're definitely at the point now where I have meandered for so long that, uh... I can do this. Uh, it's fucked up. Because those of you who have watched at this point, you're not the people I need to tell. But, I'm not telling the people I need to tell anymore. Because there's no point in telling the people. Because I'm just going to get a stupid fucking answer that's going to piss me off. It's going to be back to the beginning of the video again. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to go into that loop. I'm closing the loop. I could have just bitched about that and then gone into this and fucking said, there you go, it's done. Just anger the whole time. No, I talked about other fun stuff. And now we're getting into the sad shit. But I'm telling you guys because I feel it's important for you guys to know. Why? Because I am but one person and I only reach so many. And the many that I reach don't listen to me. They don't listen to me because there can be no back and forth because it's YouTube comments. And the YouTube comments stretch out for me and I'm not looking five, six, seven pages full of comments down to try and find where the fuck our last thread was. Find me on Discord if you want to have a conversation. I'm fully with it. But, there are caveats to that. We have to live in the same fucking reality. We can't even begin to talk if we can't agree on where we live in, in reality. So, I'm not doing that shit anymore. So, I'm talking to just you guys. Those of you who watch the entirety of my videos. I feel it's important to educate you. Not so that you just know so that you can pass it on. This is the way it's going to have to happen because this is the, we have to, we have to use pure versions of their tactics. They pay people lots and lots of money and say, craft us a fucking story and a narrative and make sure that everybody believes it. And then they get their propagandists out there to go and do exactly that. We can't do that. So I'm just going to give you some facts. And this is just random facts. It's just random facts. Ah, it's just random fucking facts. What do you want? Like, I'm just giving you some random facts. This will be a lot of fun. For those of you who would like to know, <laughs> this will be a lot of fun. And I'm going to have to figure out how I can tease this to try and get some more people to watch to the end of the video. But nevertheless, man, we'll see what happens. This is going to be some interesting shit, though. I mean, amazingly blind. But if you're into statistics at all, oof. That's probably not the way to get people to watch to the end of the video. Forget I said any of that shit. Just, just watch to the end of the video. Anyways. See how I do that shit? Uh, I, normally I would like cut that part out. And, and you guys would never see that. But fuck it. I'm going to leave it in. Because you guys watch to the end of the video. It's a reward. So. Some statistics. Ready? Alright. So. I was watching this video. And a dude threw out. A statistic of like 63 million deaths 
And I was like, man, that's a lot of fucking deaths. And I don't know why, but I thought to myself, I wonder how many people have just died in certain wars. I wonder if there's a war that meets or exceeds that. And so I looked it up, and as it as it happens, uh, oh, I don't have that one anymore. But it's like uh, it's like a billion people. It's like estimated to be uh, seven hundred, seven hundred some million to a billion. Lots of fucking people died in like all wars, and I was like, well, that's okay. Well, that's a that's a toughie. How are you gonna beat that? This is my little 63 million, and it ain't fucking coming close. So I'm like, hey, fuck it. So, <laughs> I'm looking at Wikipedia, and it's showing me the wars. And I'm looking through, and here's one. The Three Kingdoms War caught my eye. Estimated 36 million? To 40 million. That's a lot of fucking people, man. That's a lot of fucking people. Three Kingdoms War, right? The Wei versus the Shu versus the Wu. I have gone through this war so many times I can't even begin to tell you. It's it's romancing the Three Kingdoms. It's, they've been making video games after this war since the fucking 80s. Romancing the Three Kingdoms. Uh, Nobunaga's Ambition is the Japanese version of... Romancing the Three Kingdoms, never know It's the same type of thing. And and uh, Dynasty Warriors. Anybody ever played Dynasty Warriors? Yeah. Fucking the Three Kingdoms War. That's exactly what it's based off of. Um yeah. And that war lasted almost a hundred years. This is it. and I'm like, okay, well, you know. My my other statistic had beaten the Three Kingdoms War. And that lasted a hundred fucking, it took them a hundred years to kill that many people. <laughs> Not my other statistic. Alright. So, then I came across, what was it? Uh, the Mongol Conquest, 30 to 40 million. Right? The Mongol Empire versus several Eurasian states. This is, this is fucking Kublai Khan and, and Genghis Khan. <laughs> this isn't like, that's that. Genghis Khan rampaging across China again, oddly enough. What is with China? Everybody just wants to fight in China. Rampaging a jet around China, right? Fucking just trying to conquer the whole goddamn thing. And it that went for 160 years. It took them 160 years to fucking kill 30 to 40 million people. So, that's impressive. This <laughs> is like, that's an impressive amount of death. World War II. Now we're getting into Americans. And you know what? Americans know how to do more than anything else. Fucking kill people. In World War II, man. The largest and deadliest war in history. It says it right there. 50s. They actually have fucking pretty decent stats. 56 million and change to 85 million probably and change. I don't think it was on a dot. Um, and it, it only took, what is that, six years? Oh my god, like, ugh, this shit really puts fucking things into perspective, doesn't it? <laughs> god damn! But it is a worldwide war, I mean, fuck, it, it was, it was fucking everybody. <laughs> and it was at a time where, like, warfare was... At its height, technologically, was pretty fucking up there, and its ability to deal medically with that was not fucking up to snuff. <laughs> so, I mean, you still had sawbones in World War II, for Christ's sake. Like, uh, World War II was a motherfucker, and, uh, yeah, that's a lot. That, that, that beats almost, my, I mean, my statistic is getting in that fucking range. And that's a thought, like, that's, that's really a thought, it's, it's within the range, I, what did I say, 63 million was the stat that I heard? That's within the range of World War II, the largest and deadliest war in history. Alright, now here's, this is old, it's very old, throwing it out, oh shit, <laughs> I like to do that, okay. It's very old, it's a very old statistic, right? 
Um, oh, I have free articles? <laughs> oh, cool. Fuck you and your paywalls. Um, anyways, it's a very old article. It's from, I think, 2015. Yeah, 2015. Uh, and it's only citing statistics from 1973 to 2011. But data from the Guttmacher Institute, a research organization that supports legal access to abortion, does indeed show more than 50 million abortions were performed between 1973 and 2011. And that, you know, it's a 10 year old statistic. So for another 13 million to go in 10 years. Wow. Like that. Wow. So. You know, it's going to be interesting. I wonder, I wonder who, who is going to even think to look. But I wonder if anybody will actually report. Today we surpassed the amount of deaths in World War II with abortions. That's how many babies we've killed. That's a lot of fucking babies, man. It's a lot of fucking babies, man. Uh, it's just, you know, like, when you think about it, like, when you come to the realization that a baby's kind of a baby, well, even when it's in the mother, that it's still kind of a baby, like, when, when, you, when you boil it down to the root, if, you can, if, you, if that can be your reality, that a baby is, in fact, a baby, even, if, even though it's inside of the mother, it's still, it's still a baby, like... When you come to that realization, you start putting things in perspective. <laughs> it's like we're in World War II territory. <laughs> I don't mean... <laughs> I'm not laughing at the abortion. I, I, for whatever reason, my mind flashed a picture of a bunch of babies <laughs> fighting in World War II, fighting the Nazis. Like I started picturing uh, Saving Private Ryan. But with babies. Because I'm also, like... I'm doing role-playing games again. So I need names. So I have fucking baby names. So I'm sitting there looking at babies on the cover of the fucking book. And thinking about abortions. And relative to World War II. And then I started thinking of all those babies fighting. <laughs> Alright, so... There you go. <laughs> At the very least, I made the made the darkness a little brighter at the end. But that is, I mean, that is a it's an odd perspective when you think of it. You know what I mean? That's a lot of babies. Like that's a lot of babies. That's a lot of babies.